हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर नेहा वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री व्हिच इज कार्बन क्रेडिट एंड क्लीन डेवलपमेंट मैकेनिज्म सो लेट अस सी वन बाय वन बोथ ऑफ देम नाउ एज वी ऑल नो दैट द क्लाइमेट चेंज इज टेकिंग प्लेस ड्यू टू रैपिड इंडस्ट्रियल ग्रोथ द एनर्जी कंजम्पशन हैज इंक्रीज्ड एंड देन देयर इज इंक्रीज ऑफ द गैसेस व्हिच कॉजेस पोल्यूशन एंड स्पेशली ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशन हैज इंक्रीज्ड व्हिच इज लेड टू द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग and due to which the sea level is increasing and then there is a change in the weather cycle so due to all these factors we need to take a appropriate action and that is as soon as possible and if they don't do so then we are going to obviously pay right so for that the industries and the nations are bound to go ahead with the carbon credits now what is a carbon credit basically it's a term which is defined for any type of certificate that is tradable so basically it's a tradable certificate and that represents a permit to emit a 1 ton of carbon dioxide so 1 ton of co2 you can emit if you have one uh, carbon credit to you or equivalent amount of any other product of greenhouse gas but basically we take co2 as the main uh, standard and uh, there are many agreements in order to reduce the overall carbon emission like kyoto protocol or paris agreement if we go ahead with the kyoto protocol it was signed in 1997 where all of the nations of the world they've agreed on the system that yes there should be a system in which uh, by using we can reduce the emission of co2 and if the companies are not able to do that then they have to compensate for that much emission using their carbon credit and that made uh, the mandate for the industries to do that and that protocol was kyoto protocol ultimate objective was obviously to stabilize the atmospheric concentration of these gases co2 and the greenhouse gases so what is basically carbon credit as i said is a tradable certificate so that is issued to the country in order to reduce their emission of greenhouse gas right and it came uh, into existence as a result of increasing awareness nowadays people understand what is carbon credit so basically carbon credit is equal to 1 ton of co2 methane and nitrous oxide are other greenhouse gases and they also have approximately 21 times and 300 times heat trapping capacity of co2 so now if you reduce methane by 1 ton actually you are reducing carbon dioxide by 21 tons so we need to focus on reducing these emissions coming to carbon credit as i said is a trading scheme but is a key component of national and international emission on a global level we have to reduce the global warming so we need to work on it so what uh, can be done at the international market you can exchange the credit so you can either buy them or you can so, uh, sell them in the international market ultimately there are many schemes uh, which work for carbon reduction so basically what you can play with is the currency for this trade and that is known as cer which is carbon emission reduction so one cer is basically equivalent to reduction of one metric ton of co2 so if you are able to reduce that much amount of co2 one credit will be given to you and that credit would be in the form of carbon emission reduction let us go ahead with when you have carbon credit you have been given the recognition of a intangible commodity right so it's just like a share market just like a stock market that you can trade with the cers so cers are nothing but the certificates which you have and those certificates are actually given by cdm executive boards and that is why it is having a value so let's say if you have a project which generates energy using wind power and you're not using burning like you're not burning coal for it right so in this process you're actually saving 25 tons of carbon dioxide per year that means you can claim 25 cer right 1 cer is equivalent to 1 ton of co2 reduced so what is the role of this carbon credit basically it basically limits the greenhouse gas emission right so anyone who exceeds that limit you have to pay the fine so this is basically a regulation that uh, let's say x amount of uh, you know credit uh, x amount of co2 has to be emitted and if you exceed that x amount then you have to pay the fine so there is a regulation it's a maximum capacity uh, that you can pay the load on uh, the uh, environment 
so what you can do in order to reduce greenhouse gas emissions so basically there are two options either you invest in cdm which is clean development mechanism project or you buy carbon credits so what you can do is you can uh, trade the carbon credits so let us uh, see both of them also uh, this actually you will not find much of the detail on these topics uh, on net. Uh, when I was making video, I also found uh, some videos, but then very less information was given. That is why I thought I should make one video on this topic. So let us see uh, investing in CDM. So uh, what uh, basically people do, they sell technology uh, to a developed country. Now, if we fall in the developing country, uh, we can sell the technology to the developed country and then we can get the credits. Right. The carbon trading, what is that? Like if my company is falling short of the emission target, right, uh, I uh, can buy those from the market from someone who is already successful in meeting them and who has surplus of carbon unit. So uh, my company is falling short, but the other one's company is not falling short. In fact, they have surplus of carbon unit. So at last, that much greenhouse gas emission is reduced. So overall limit in the market remains same. So what you can do, you purchase it uh, from them, right? So overall, whatever emissions you had to decrease, that has been decreased by some other company. But now that company has done good work with you and the carbon emissions has been reduced, so what will they get? Obviously, you are buying it, so you have to pay. So whatever target was less than the other company, meanwhile, you have become a buyer and they have become a seller. So the CO2 emission was reduced, they have done it and you can buy it from it. So basically, there will be a balance in the market then. Right. Uh, if you see the present scenario, carbon emission country wise, we are not much of like we do have good population. You all know that. Right. But we are not contributing much to the environment as in terms of CO2 emissions, uh, largely because of our lifestyle. Uh, I have posted one more video on carbon footprint. You can watch and understand how are we uh, reducing less carbon with respect to other countries it's because of our lifestyle because we you know uh, don't use much of the electronics like dishwasher ac and washing machine and all we use solar light for you know uh, getting the clothes dried and all and we don't eat much of the junk and meat is normally not eaten by us uh, which has uh, most of the carbon dioxide emission right so because of that the one reason is that and second reason is carbon trading i guess uh, we are second largest uh, seller of the carbon credits uh, we are doing good in that so the situation is pretty much good with respect to india but since the population is still rising we need to work on so what uh, buying carbon credit can uh, really reduce the emission so yes if lack of carbon credits are there you buy a carbon credit money invest in the cdm project and the carbon emission is reduced by those project holders right let us see let's say uh, you have to do that carbon trading that means you have to offset your carbon emissions uh, carbon dioxide emissions rather so what are you going to do your company needs to meet its emission uh, cap whatever is the cap that uh, let's say x turn and you cannot go ahead with x turn under x turn you have to emit right so now what do you capping bhi maintain karni hai but aap nahi kar pa rahe hai you cannot change the company setup what you can do you can invest in some other company right cdm is nothing but that only that you invest in other company which is going to uh, reduce the emission by investing that money in some programs so what do you have to do you have to give them money that you can't do it but do it in my place so what they will do, they are going to include that money for different measures like maybe uh, use of renewable energy or some other innovative pro uh, processes or reforestation, whatever is required for the particular amount of CO2 emission reduction, they will do on your behalf. And uh, company A receives carbon credit for its investment. Because you are offsetting the carbon, so you are meeting your targets, you are in, in fact uh, giving them extra reduction. So per reduction, per uh, one ton of greenhouse gas emission reduction, you will get one carbon credit, that is one CER, right? So let us go ahead with, uh, how, why would people do so? In fact, if you see buyer and seller, both will get benefited because both has to accomplish their social responsibility first of all. And then it is cost effective way for a buyer and for a seller, they can gain uh, from it. They can make profit also. 
uh, approaches to emission reduction how can you do that uh, first like a company has a two way to reduce emission as i said earlier either you reduce emission by doing something like by adopting new technology or you improve the existing technology and like that or what you can do you can tie up with a developing nation and help them set up new technology which is eco friendly so if you yourself are not able to do let it uh, let others do it for you that is the simple thing and this is possible through cdm projects so jo developed countries hoti hain wo zyada tar yahi karti hain ki they prefer option b wo koi bhi developing country se tie up karengi aur unhe kahenge ki set up kariye technology so utne utne earn karenge credit let us go ahead with illustrations let's say developed country right so a company in the developed country uh, which emits let's say 1 lakh ton of co2 and they have to get themselves added in nx1 country there is an exer1 uh, list in which they want them to be added so they have to follow the emission norm and uh, let's say they have to set a target of 80000 tons but they are already emitting 1 lakh tons of uh, co2 so what they can do either they can invest in a cleaner machinery or technology or they can buy carbon credit to meet its target so now if you evaluate the cost of alternatives the company may decide that they have to go for carbon credit means they have to opt for clean development mechanism project or what do they have basically they opt for the second one because sometimes setting up new machineries and technology could be more costly than getting it done by uh, clean development projects right coming to illustration of uh, two wherein a company is in developing uh, like a company is in developing country let's say in india so if it switches from coal power to wind energy that activity actually reduces carbon emission right so cdm board will certify it that it has reduced carbon emission by 1 lakh ton per year that means we can issue you 1 lakh cer 1 lakh carbon credits are issued because that much reduction you have done now we have that much carbon credits with us that we can so, uh, sell to the developed countries now uh, let's say for example if the price of 1 cer is around 15 to 18 euro so i have 1 lakh cer with me i can sell it to the other countries developed countries and i can earn there are many industries in uh, india who are trading that especially like tata groups and reliance group and all they all are uh, offsetting and they are trading in carbon credits let us go to clean development mechanism basically it's provided under article 12 of kyoto protocol uh, the purpose of cdm is to assist parties which are not included in annexure 1 list so that they can also achieve sustainable development and they can also get included in annexure 1 list that means they have emission limitation and they have reduced the emission the key features of cdm projects are uh, normally uh, decided earlier i'll skip this right now so cdm basically has a two fold process first it assist companies in the developing uh, country and second it assist company in the developed countries in achieving compliance with the reduction right so these two uh, they have separate categories two fold purpose coming to uh, cdm how does it work basically uh, you have to develop a project first get it approved get it validated then the project is registered monitoring of project is done from time to time then the verification of project is done followed by the giving of certification and finally you got your cers issued so how to buy that carbon offset just to remind you again first you identify the source of co2 then you reduce that uh, particular emission directly you calculate your carbon footprint that i have explained in the separate video now you understand uh, how uh, this carbon offsetting work at your area and then find the provider of carbon offset credit and then you buy the carbon offset credit from them coming up with the advantage of carbon credit so obviously it can change the financial situation so if you have so many of carbon credit with you you can sell it to uh, those who are uh, requiring it obviously environmental benefits are uh, needless to mention a uh, better and good option for investment help in earning extra bringing better technology and in fact developing countries are using better technologies in conjunction with that of developed countries there are certain disadvantages also because it's not uh, being properly regulated till now and uh, very uh, lack of information in fact is there uh, lack of structured and well controlled system is there 
and the most important part which i feel is instead of finding new ways of reducing the carbon emission developed countries directly purchase the carbon credit so they don't uh, themselves indulge in uh, making new you know uh, वेज और फाइंडिंग इनोवेटिव वेज और कुछ चेंज करना है उनको एग्जिस्टिंग सेटअप में वो नहीं करते उनके पास काफ़ी पैसा होता है तो वॉट दे डू इज़ वो डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज से डायरेक्टली परचेज कर देता है तो यू एस एंड ऑल दोज डेवलप कंट्रीज इफ दे ऑल्सो ज्वाइन हैंड इन रिड्यूसिंग कार्बन एमिशन आई थिंक वी वुड बी एबल टू अचीव द टारगेट वेरी सून सो आई थिंक विद दैट यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कार्बन क्रेडिट एंड सी डी एम so if you have liked the video please hit on like and if you are new to my channel please subscribe for more such videos please mention in comment how do you like it and if any other topic you would like me to cover thank you so much for being here